Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. So on this video, we're going to be doing our monthly Nadine West review, but there's just one surprise. Instead of one bubble bag, today you're getting double the bubble. That's right you guys, today we're going to be unbagging two bags. Here's the real story. So school started about a week and a half ago and I have just been swamped. Normally I do my Nadine West reviews at the end of the month and then load them before the month is over. However, with school going back and everything that we've had to do, I just did not have time to get the bag done. So I'm going to be unpacking two of the bags and letting you guys see what I got. So I'm pretty excited. You all know that I've gone back to school. If you're new around here, my name's Shakima. How y'all doing? I am as a professional, a teacher by trade, and we have to dress professionally. This year very specifically, well every year really, they are really pushing professional dress and with my budget, sometimes I don't always have the finances I need to buy new clothes, so I thrift quite a lot. I go out and I get my deals where I can. But fortunately for me, Nadine West has reached out and they have asked me to review their items. So if you're unfamiliar with Nadine West, I will leave a link down in the description box below. It is an online subscription clothing company and what you do, very simple, you go online to their website, you take a very brief quiz that talks about your likes, your dislikes, and then Nadine West will set you up with your own personal stylist and they will send you clothing items to your mailbox. It's very simple. You can view the items, you pay for only the things that you want to keep, and whatever is not your style, not the right fit, you send it back. There's only been one or two times that I've had to go and update my profile and every time I've updated it, they have come through and all of the items that they have sent me have been excellent. There's one or two things that I haven't always been thrilled with, but there have been a couple of things that I didn't think were going to be me and they fit fantastically. So I'm excited to get into these pink bags and show you guys what I got. So let's jump right in. Okay, so here's how it works. Inside of the bag, you're gonna find the clothing items that they have selected for you. I have two bags in this bag. You're also going to find the invoice that tells you what you get or what they sent. And then you have a mailing packing slip. If you don't like something, you take this slip, affix it to the front of this bag, put all of those items back in, and then you ship this back at their expense. So let's get into this bag and see what we got. Alrighty then. Okay, I have two tops, a bottom, a dress, and some earrings. So no neck jewelry, no arm jewelry. The dress is called Sunny Days. It's a V-neck blue at $24.99. The top is called Night Chill. It's in a rose or called rose. It's $24.49. The bottoms is Athleisure Gray, $23.49. The dress is Demi and it's black at $28.49. And then the earrings are Diamond Drops Patina for $14.99. So let's see what comes in this bag. So it comes wrapped in its signature um, pink paper with the Nadine West logo on the front and I'm just going to tear into this. Okay. This is a pretty shirt. Oh, it's, this is like a cardigan, right? Has a sleeve here with a button. So that's a pretty pink or rose colored cardigan. So again, they send me these workout kind of pants. Now I would never wear these outside the house unless I was working out. So I already know that for sure. And it does kind of have this um, netting on the side, has a design at the bottom. And then it has these side pockets and it says you can put your phone in there. So it tells, and it's tummy control, body slimmering, slimming, and super soft. 
I'll take all of that. And then in this one, we have, okay. a black um, sleeveless it does have pockets which I do like it's nothing fancy it's just a basic black dress but I can always dress up a black dress so that looks like something that'll be nice huh and then here's a blue sleeveless I think this also has pockets. Yep. Pockets on the side. And then all of the jewelry pieces or accessories come in a little pink bag. And so these are Okay, they're in that patina finish. Dangles. There. All right. That's bag number 1. And here is bag number two. It's a much smaller size bag. Return pack and slip. Invoice. Okay. Two tops. There's a, a red Mallory top. $24.49, a Scholar Purple Top, $23.49, there's a bottom all meshed up black for $33.99, earrings, they're called Finding Peace at $14.99, the necklace is a pearl catcher, it's gold, $24.99, and then the bracelet is called Sonic Wave, that's also gold at $14.99. So two packages. Now this is not a red red, it's more of a burgundy red. And it has, oh, buttons on the bottom with a little slit. So that's pretty. And then this purple one a little shorter than I would prefer but it does have the knotted detail in the front and it has these uh, little details here so we'll see not so sure about that one y'all okay it's the first time I've received anything like that so we'll we'll see and then the last okay okay oh this is very substantial this is a bracelet it's in the gold tones and it is very substantial and I love chunky jewelry like this this is one of my favorites love that I'm hoping I can get my hand in that I'm hopeful I don't know we'll see I work on it but I love this that's pretty um hmm Okay, these are earrings. Okay, let's see. All right, that's different. Kind of reminds me of the Olympics with the with the circles. So that's different. And then this is a necklace. Oh, here we go. And I generally like pearls, but I don't think that this, hmm, this is not my fave piece. So, not my fave piece. 
here. And then the last pair or clothing item is just a pair of those um, silky black. Th these pants are silky where the other ones were more cotton finish. So that's what I'm seeing here. And it does have a detail in the front. So let's get everything tried on and see what you think. Alrighty, you guys, so there it is. You've seen all of the outfits. The only thing I did not try on were the gray pants, the athletic pants, because I have several pairs of those pants and I know exactly how they fit. So I didn't try those on again. You've seen them in different review videos. So let me go down the list of things that I tried on. I love the red burgundy shirt with the little buttons on the side and the kind of little slit. That felt very comfortable to me. Um, I did put on a cami underneath all of the shirts or the outfits just because that's my comfort level. But I like the short sleeves. Sometimes in my classrooms, it is a little bit warm. I could wear that with slacks. I could wear that with jeans. I could wear that with a skirt. So I thought that was a very versatile piece. And for me, it was a thumbs up. The next thing I tried on, and I actually kept on this article with all of the outfits were the black uh, pants. They're of uh, spandexy pants with kind of some mesh in the front. I don't know if you could tell that from the uh, video, but they have mesh like every other panel is a mesh. So I don't know if they quite qualify as professional. They really fit like leggings, but they hold you in really tight. So I like that part especially losing weight, um, it, it does help to hold things in that maybe not uh, toned up quite well yet. And so I do like these pants. As far as wearing them to work, probably a no, but I would wear them out of the house with a longer top. Um, so they were very comfortable. They are in a size large, so that was really good. Uh, medium probably would have been too small for me just in this size of pants. The purple shirt. Okay, so the purple shirt with the knotted front was still a little short for my taste. However, I have a very long cami, kind of comes mid thigh. Uh, and so that kind of gives it a little bit of balance for me. I don't like short waisted shirts. I don't like shirts that don't cover my rear end. I prefer that part be covered all the time. And um, so short-waisted shirts to me are just not my fave. With the cami, it was a yes. Without the cami, I would never wear that in public anywhere. I don't know if I would even wear that in the house. And I know that I'm in here, so I don't know. Um, the blue shirt was almost a smidge too big, and that was a medium. I'm not a huge fan of the no sleeves, but it fit just it felt good the material felt good but again like i said it was almost just a smidge too large 
and I probably would have worn those with like some capris, white capris, something like that would be awesome or a pencil skirt, a white pencil skirt or some type of a skirt color that would complement the blue. I would wear that with a pencil skirt and a pair of heels. I would keep that more on the higher end or the classy end and a pair up jewelry that would fit with that very nicely. The next thing I tried on was the little black dress and I purposefully kept the pants under the dress because if I liked it on top, I would like it without the pants. So I know some of you may not love that look. It's totally fine, but I like the way it fits on the top. It fits nice here, kind of sucks it in a little bit and then it flows out the pants because they have tummy control, pulls in that tummy, which is my area that I have issues with. So it definitely felt better to have a slimmer under there to help pull me in. So the dress itself was very nice, just need to be ironed and I didn't have time to iron everything. Um, I do love the pockets. Nadine West hits it a home run every time with me in pockets. Sometimes I have my keys, sometimes I have my phone, and sometimes I'm just awkward and need a place to put my hands and pockets work for me every time. So I really did like how you could dress it up with the jewelry or you could dress it down with the cardigan. I think this rose cardigan goes so well with this black and I think it would go well with the green pants that I got the last bag um, in a white cami underneath so I love this rose top and I think I'm going to get some good wear it does have the three quarter length sleeves I just pushed them up a little bit because I just like them that way but I do like the fact that um, this can work fall it could also go winter of course I would have to wear a coat over but it can also go spring so this is a versatile piece and I really love it the bracelet did not fit. I couldn't, I could get half of it on, but I couldn't get the other half on. So that was a no, even though I love that chunky piece, it did not fit. The earrings worked very well. And I actually forgot to try on the pearl necklace, but I think it would be okay as well. It wasn't my fave, but depending on what I'm wearing, I'm more of a silver platinum gold type of individual. And those are just colors that I gravitate towards, not so much the golds. And I'll make sure that I go in and make a tweak on my profile so they send me less golds. I do like mixed metals, but I probably prefer the silvers or the platinums more. So there it is, the Nadine West double bubble unbagging uh, two bags this month. I'm gonna get back on track. I hope you enjoyed seeing two bags. Uh, let me know down in the comments below what was your favorite outfit. Let me know what you thought of the things I tried on. Let me know if you've purchased anything from Nadine West and if you give it a thumb up or what you think. So remember, Nadine West does not pay me anything. They just ask for an open and honest opinion. And here's my open and honest opinion because I've heard other people um, just not give well reviews. For me, I think anything... I can dress it up with my pieces, their pieces. I'm about mixing and matching. I don't necessarily have to wear everything that's theirs. I may wear an outfit that's mine and bling it up with their jewelry, or I may wear my jewelry in their outfit. So I'm versatile in the things that I wear. I like mix and match pieces. I like pieces that can go with this or with that. I just flow better that way. It makes sense in my brain to be able to have a versatile wardrobe. So for that reason, I like the pieces. Um, and I've just heard some people give unfavorable reviews. Like I said, there's been very little things that I haven't liked. I've seen some things that I thought were a little questionable and I try it on and it works just well. And if it doesn't, they do have that return policy. So try it out. Let me know what you think in the, in the comments below. I'd be happy to hear from you. So glad you decided to stop by for this review. And until the next time that we do a bubble unbagging, bye now.